dua of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to say, Allahumma hdini, oh Allah guide me. He didn't used to stop there. He used to say, وَيَسِّرِ huda li," And make guidance easy for me. So you know, for us, a lot of the times it's very easy that we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make our worldly life matters easy. You're going through a difficulty. You see a brother, brother, make Allah, make dua that Allah makes it easy for me. Someone is struggling to get married. Brother, ask Allah that he makes it easy for me. Someone is going to court tomorrow. Brother, please don't forget me in your dua. Make dua that Allah makes it easy for me. Someone's going through financial difficulty. Oh Allah, make my affairs easy for me. That's good, that's required. But what about your worship? How come the 100 Salat al-Fajr you missed? You didn't even care to ask after it. Oh Allah, help me to get up for Salat al-Fajr. And the Quran that you're reading and you keep stuttering and you just gave up. Why didn't you ask Allah to make Al-Quran easy for you to read? Why didn't you ask Allah Azza wa Jal ease in Islamic religious matters? Why is it always asking Allah ease in this worldly life? You know why? Then the heart has been corrupted. Khalas. The heart only looks at worldly matters. That's all it's caring about. And the, the honest, the bottom line honesty is we don't care about the worship. We don't care. If we cared, we would have asked. We would have said, Wahdini wa yassiril huda li. Make guidance easy for me. Make it easy upon me that I get up and attend Salat al Jama'ah and pray with the congregation of the Muslims. Make it easy for me that I continue my fasting after Ramadan. How come that's not included in the dua? Then we need to learn that this is supposed to be an integral part of our life. That we continuously and consistently ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He help us and aid us in our worship.